What's good guys, welcome back to another episode of GNG News. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you and showing you your way around the Soundcore app. So, if you have a Soundcore product, like the one that I have just here and the one that I'm using on the head right now, which is the Life Q30, as you can see on the screen as well, you're going to need to use this app if it's a wireless product. So, once you've downloaded it off the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, you want to obviously open up the app. When you open up the app, obviously mine is already paired. So I want to show you how to pair your device first of all, uh, just to make things easier for everyone and to get everybody on the same page. So first thing that you want to do is you want to click in the top left hand corner. And when you do, you will be on this screen. And when you're on this screen, you want to go on over to the headphone symbol and you want to find what your headphone is called. So my headphones are the Life Q30. So I want to click where it says Life Series, navigate down to my headphones, which are these ones here. It's going to search. It'll pair straight away. It pairs very quickly. This is the third time I've now connected these. So once you're paired, it recognizes your headphones. It also indicates and tells you obviously what your battery life is. Now there's a couple of things that you can do, uh, first of all, just to make sure that everything is like up to date and running how it should be. You wanna click in the top right hand corner, the three dots, and you wanna look at your update firmware, make sure that's up to date. And if you need to look at your quick start guide, you can do so. Also your serial number is also dated here and it will display uh, your firmware version also, anyways, you want to go back to this screen. And now when you go back to this screen, you have a couple of options here that you can choose from. One option that really impressed me was an option called sleep mode. Now, initially I thought sleep mode was going to be a mode where, I don't know, maybe it put the headphones into low power consumption to save battery. No, when you click on sleep mode, it comes up with an array of different sounds that you can have playing while you are sleeping. So for example, if you went to sleep and you were someone who was able to sleep with headphones on, unfortunately I'm not, but if you were someone who could fall asleep with headphones on, you could have these ambient noises playing throughout the night while you sleep to essentially help you get a better night's sleep and to improve your sleeping pattern. So this, these headphones actually have your health in mind, which I think is epic. How can a product that's designed for you to just listen to sound actually be helping your life as well and have aspects of you know actually helping you live that is amazing so just for this one part of this whole app i was stunned that they actually put this in and um, yeah i think this is a great little aspect to add into the app I am actually going to try this out at some point. I'm going to try to go to sleep at some point uh, in the future with headphones on and have some of these sounds playing and see if it actually helps or, or increases my sleeping pattern or makes my sleeping pattern better in any way at all. Because I think that this is a great product to have added that mode in. But anyways, you have a few different sounds that you can choose from. I say a few, there's probably about what 10 sounds there. So we have rain. As you can probably hear now, you can probably hear the sound of rain through the through the headphones so for example if you pull it all the way to the left you will hear just the sound of the rain through a left headphone if you pull it all the way to the right you hear the sound of rain just through the right headphone like so and like so you can also add in extra sounds like for example you can put some wind chimes in there as well you got some wind in there as well so you know you could you could really make this into uh let me just show you what this could become. Obviously, you wouldn't ever had it set on this many, but imagine that you could have this playing while you sleep. I don't think that would help you sleep, but I think one or maybe two of them noises, you know, on a low frequency um, would maybe help you drift off to sleep. Some people have to hear the sound of noise. But anyways, navigate back to the home by pressing the home button in the middle just here. And you'll see that you have some other modes that you can choose through. Like equalizer. If you click on equalizer, you can go to default here. If you click default twice, it comes up with a different array of different types of uh, sounds 
that you can have these headphones produce or have these headphones cater to, should I say. So for example, it's set on the uh, sound core signature, which is recommended. But if you're someone who likes to experiment around with your headphones, you know, see what frequencies they can reach, see what low end bases they can reach or high end bases they can reach or how, how high in decibels you can get them, you know, to sound or like you want to really test your headphones capability. I implore you guys to go through your sounds just like this. And um, as you can see, the different wave formats that are coming up here are showing like the different low ends and high ends that this will cater to with you choosing the type of music that it is uh, trying to cater to. The one that I found very interesting was small speakers. Um, I think this is very cool that they've added in a mode for small speakers for people who, you know, maybe only have like a little compact speaker that they're playing their sound off or, or through or what they're using the headphones through. And I think that's cool that they've actually added that in. You know, we've got some really cool modes here like podcast mode, deep dance, electronic flat, bass reducer, you know, spoken word, treble bass booster, treble reducer. They've, you know, they've really put in a good substantial amount of different types of sound modes for you to experiment around with. And you can obviously go to custom. So if you click custom twice, you can literally change and experiment with the sound for yourself to get the right sound. Anyways, I'll we'll click on back on the home button here. And if you click where it says noise cancellation. So I did this at the start of the video uh, just to make sure that I had the best sound and clarity for you guys to obviously listen to this video. So there are a few different types. There's transport mode, indoor mode and outdoor mode. So outdoor mode obviously is catered more to, you know, more sounds and like wind and whatever else. Indoor mode is probably catered more to smaller type sounds. Like for example, if you click on them, you'll probably hear the audio has now changed slightly. So this one says reduces ambient sounds on the go for quieter city spaces. Indoor sound eliminates voices and mid frequency noises from coffee shops and other inside spaces. Transport targets low end frequencies like engines and road noise for serene journeys and commutes. And obviously there are some different sound modes that we can change. So we got normal mode, normal off noise cancellation and transparency. I'm not going to lie. This sounds very strange right now. I can hear, I, I sound very echoey and tinny. Now with this transparency mode that's now on, which sounds really, really bad. And now there's noise cancellation mode, which is what I'm now back on. This sounds... This sounds like I'm in a padded room. It feels like even though I've got these headphones on, it feels like I'm in my own little space while having these headphones on. I'm going to switch it back into indoor mode. This is the mode that I would say for me, I would think personally caters most to what I'm doing with this video right now. Obviously, it said, you know, it eliminates voices and mid frequency noises from coffee shops and other inside spaces. So basically small type sound and noises when you're in a small little ambient space. But yeah, I think this is great. Obviously, if you click on the little eye symbol here it will come up and tell you like the widgets so obviously like you know you can <clears throat> you can pin widgets from soundcore onto your home screen so you don't have to load the whole app up you can pin <clears throat> certain parts of this onto your home screen and use it that way so you won't even have to open this app up but yeah it is a very good app i'm not gonna lie I haven't really experimented about with it too much, but uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to test out these headphones. That's another thing I was going to say to you as well, um, is that if you navigate back to where your headphones are again, so let me just get back to that page so I can explain. You can actually listen to to i think it's their own playlist but music so they have their own music so for example we're going to play a song and uh, you're going to hear the sound of these headphones i'm going to turn it up as loud as possible and here we go you can't waste all that life in you and time will sit i can't waste all my life on you so yeah they sound pretty loud to me 
So if this uh, video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Thank you all for watching. I've been GAG News. You guys have been my lovely audience. That was the basically the setup and exploring the... I'm going to call it exploring the Soundcore app. And yeah, see you all in a bit.